Welcome to another video of TDX, and I'm introducing the M1 Abrams tank. So finally, the Armor Factory is here. This was a tower that was teased back in August 2022, and now it has finally seen the light. And of course, you can use it with the Barrax Tower. Such a good combo. I would really recommend playing on long maps like Blocks Out, Apocalypse, Oil Rig. Let's keep things simple. Just go join Apocalypse. So, <clears throat> so the base price of Armor Factory is only $800. And I'll spawn at a level zero Humvee, which this is how the model looks like. As you can see, it has a little troop on top as well as just overall looking really cool. Love the way this came out a lot. It has this much range and it also has 70 health on it. And the damage deals is actually not terrible considering you only paid $800 for it. It'll do a lot better than uh, barracks over here for sure. And now when vehicles die, they now do a cool uh, death explosion. Check it out yeah uh so it no longer just fades out anyways this is level zero one two three four and five then path two this is three four and five these here are the max ones right here and these two right here share the same exact model so don't forget about that anyways for bottom max path you'll get the m1x abrams and for top path you get the m2 bradley both of which are good on their own as you see this one spawns in, in a lot more frequently and this one spawns in slower but yeah m1x abrams is by far one of our most favorite vehicles right now <laughs> my god just the amount of sheer detail put into him just overall looks cool we got the stuff in the back and also the side armor plating and as well as the lights help it just give it that much of a better look oh yeah and there is humphy towel missile launchers as well as you can see they have insanely long range and deal pretty decent damage for what they are there's the level two and there's a stronger version of this one as well um and as you can see they're just going to work oh man he's gonna nope he tanked it oh i think the humvee here is gonna die yep he died there's also the mrap which on its own the gun isn't anything too amazing it does deal splash damage though so do be aware of that that's gonna give you a lot of boosts right there and uh it also has a thousand health on just the base truck itself and we can see the abram is going to work right here look at how much damage it is doing it does a thousand damage per shot and and it does go through explosive armor Ooh, it's just gonna take all this it's gonna take all of it and finally boom meets it meets its demise right there it killed so many troops dealing almost twenty thousand damage right there on this map though it'll just pretty much respawn if it dies somewhere over here uh, there's only one uh per uh factory and if you play solo you can play sound six and let's talk more into upgrades oh if you sell all of your uh towers go going to blow up all the vehicles so be wary of that anyways top path goes for a stronger 50 cal on top then it goes for a towel missile launcher and this one's really cool towel missile upgrade which will actually allow the Humvee to detect stealth now. And then it goes for a missile turret, which this one's probably one of the most favorite Humvee designs as of yet. And yeah, that uh, tile range is uh, no joke. Although it is pretty slow, this, this level 3 is faster than a level 2 one. This one over here is my favorite one because of the uh, little rockets it has. And it still detects stealth for overall decent stats. Look at this HP and... Yeah, not just gonna do like a huge burst salvo missile barrage. I go ahead and reload in real time. As you can see, the little missiles will go ahead and spawn back in and then do another payload. Ooh, looks like it's gonna die here in a bit. Ooh, tough luck. And then at max, we get the M2 Bradley, which overall has decent range, but the Tau mi mi missiles have extremely long range, so don't forget about it. And of course, it detects stealth with about 2,000 health, and it'll shoot his uh, 25 millimeter Bushmaster cannon, as well as dual Tau missiles that go ahead and reload. Oh, it just got stunned by the shocker. Yeah, vehicles can't get stunned, so don't forget about that. Oh, it got stunned again. It's just gonna get stun luck. No, it's gonna stun luck itself but can it survive oh the health isn't looking too good on it it's just getting spam stuff because of the elite grenadiers oh my, i'm gonna call in support we're gonna call in support yeah bradley had just died from getting stun lock oh my god anyways now that there's a bit more further range and there's actually more stuff on the map it's no longer gonna get stun lock but yeah, M2 Bradley deals splash hammers, of course, with its main cannon, making quick work of these stealth revive guys. And Tau missiles overall just deal insane damage. As you can see, these guys are just getting absolutely melted. 
But yeah, I love the way these uh, vehicles came out and overall just the sound design of it is really good. Armored runners can actually get killed by the tile missiles as, as you guys saw right there. They got shredded despite being explosive resistant. As you can see, look at the range of the M2 Bradley's. Even though it's not within range, it'll still reach it. And as you can see, the Resurrector Juggernauts, despite having that explosive resistance, they still got you down. Now, as for bottom path, it goes for vehicle training, which reduces spawn time, and veteran training, which also further reduces spawn time. I didn't even get the MRAP. Which, MRAP isn't a bad choice. I, I, I might actually nerf this. But it's not a bad choice, because it just has a thousand walking health anyways that's for next the m1 abram which does have a longer spawn in time the time does get increased for that because what would it be op if it didn't which has 3,000 finer health and detect stealth and both guns on top do attack yes yeah, so that's gonna help down to that health along with this main cannon it's gonna one shot yes it's gonna one shot these shockers completely out of range of being stunned so yeah and one of is good you know it's nothing bad i would say but we can go bigger the M1X Abrams. And I think Smasher's just gonna go ahead and uh, destroy the Abrams right here. Yeah, no way. <laughs> By the way, with the bottom path, you do get a free Tau Missile Launcher Humvee. With the top path, you get the Missile Turret. But yeah, M1X Abrams is here with 6,000 finer health. As you can see, three guns are now going to work along with the main cannon that deals now 1,000 damage per shot. As you can see, the DPS is just going up considerably higher Ooh, the smasher destroyed it just too much help from the smasher oh man that's a lot of chargers but watch this guys oh man please spawn in time only have 135 health please spawn in time yes yes dude yes he got the main line and i put an m2 barely just to help out more dps and now we're pushing him majorly back yes yeah, swarmers like this is what you want to see it's going to call in the barracks as well we got to get into rail troopers it's just a, such a good combo to have with this because they have high hp and they also detect stealth and pierce armor as well so rail troopers are not a bad idea to have along with this tower but yeah this this entire line is now pushing it back just like how it should be used they are not stopping because there is no need to stop shocker is just absolutely getting destroyed and the m2 bradley is making quick work of it as well because the towel missile launcher is just extremely long range oh come on and what rooms come on pierce the shockers before they punch through kill the shockers before they stun oh snap is gonna be a close one we're gonna be too close oh then revive but i was just gonna punch right through but the m1 abrams are still going through oh they're getting stunned no no no, that is it. That is a line. Our last Abrams left on 210 health, and there's the last one. Oh, wait, no, psych. Still one more 6,000 health going in strong. No, there is no one's gonna kill all this. He got destroyed before taking down three revived Titans. Oh, but here comes the Barrack troops along with the spawn in uh, level four scouts here, as well as just a line of road troopers gonna be backed up here by the Humvees and another line of M1X Abrams. Where's that Bradley? Yeah, the Bradley's gonna help down chew down some of these uh, stealth fellas right here as well these troops are not going to be able to do that much right now uh where are the predators oh there were the predators oh man the boss who's just punching through and he's going to have a little wall form up right here that is not good man fave is just walking all over all my stuff like if those are 14 year old miners crazy enemies he fell down to the exposed video and then we have the second predator to come in mr obvious is just destroying absolutely everything can the second predator go down yes and the third and final predator is here can we take it down oh, come on bradley do something he's only left on 20,000 health now for barracks that would be insanely hard to do but we have the m1x abrams here to back it up now for the road trips i feel like that'd be a challenge but i can see look at himself just not being ramming the damage itself is absolutely destroying him just absolutely destroyed their predator left with twenty thousand health but this is not cheap to get as you can see there's ninety two thousand dollars to get that m1x abrams which in total right here this is almost four hundred thousand to go ahead and max out which isn't that hard to do if you bring on farms. But yeah, top half is, that, is definitely more value friendly at the cost of uh, having uh, about less than 2,000 health. But yeah, look at this insane range. It's just absolutely beaming it. And resurrected juggernauts don't pose an issue because again, the cannons now do pierce explosives. Man, road troopers can actually pick off some work right here. I'm surprised it has that much range. Actually, what are road trooper stacks performing against revival abomination rushes? 
Yeah, definitely not as good as an M1X Abrams, but they are cheaper, so it makes sense. Let's see here, just one M1X took down two Revive Abominations and left one on half HP. Yeah, this is definitely will be a clutch tower for sure. There we go, Rage Mode, 25 health, 25 health. Oh no, my bait, they all died. No, oh, the 25 health is still going strong. The 25 health is still going strong. I honestly don't know we can win this. Uh, it's gonna be a very close call with just Barracks and uh, Armor Factor being solely used on him on, on the last wave at least. Oh no, my Barracks! And he killed the troops! He killed every Barracks! No! He is now left on 56,000 health. Check, can we kill him? Come on, man, this has to be the last push. The last push, come on. No, he's gonna shoot at my stuff. No, 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 wait. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, we did it. Solely with Armored Factory and Barracks only in the last wave. We killed him with just that. Oh my god. Yo, we did it. Yeah, Armored Factory is definitely one of the most favorite towers. Um, glad to have us in. And that's like doing a little parade with, with the winning song. <laughs> Yeah, have fun with the Armored Factory Tower. I love it a lot.